Hello everyone, it is Blue Cart Ever here, and today it is September 7th of 2014, and just today there is now a new VIP weapon out, it's called apparently the God's Hammer. Now this is a very unique weapon in the sense that every single skin, or quote unquote if you want to call it a skin that you pick up, it's, is that an admin? No. <laughs> but um, every skin that you pick up actually has a different variating effect. So, for this video today it's going to be very short. I am going to be heading towards a practice bar and I'm going to be demonstrating the effects of each of the hammer. I've already done it beforehand so the list is already ready, but I want to show it to you. Now the first one I'm going to start off with is this blue hammer here. Apparently it's called the ice hammer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to head towards the spa arena and while over by the spa I will discuss on what this effect on what the ice hammer has. Alright, so I'm here over here by this practice bar and I figured I'd rather do the practice bar instead of a regular spa. That way it doesn't look like I'm boosting. But this guy over here with the red hood is actually my second account. He's on my 3GS right now and uh, he is basically just waiting for me to start. Uh, I shouldn't really exactly say me, uh, he, it's actually still just me, but <laughs> whatever. Build up the sense that it's still... Uh, okay, he's... okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, Alright, how am I supposed to do this? Because <laughs> now this guy decided to walk in. Great. You like penis? Okay, so I finally managed to nab a spot by doing something rather stupid. Okay, so this is the Ice Hammer. The Ice Hammer deals, or at least so as far as I think, all the hammers deal 7 damage. Alright, so I'm going to test the effects on this. According to my one my iPhone depicts, it says that the Ice Hammer has absolutely no effects at all. See, it did 7 damage. That's another 7. See, for some reason, the Ice Hammer seems to have no effects at all. It doesn't seem to do anything, except for dealing 7 damage. <laughs> Which is rather weird. It says each one has a varying effect, but I guess this one's just... damage. <laughs> so, alright, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the VIP house and recollect another hammer. And the next hammer I'm going to be demonstrating is called the Love Hammer. Alright, this is the next one, called the Love Hammer. The Love Hammer is, I believe, another hammer that deals about 7 damage, however the effects are rather weird. <laughs> Alright, so, so much for love for this one, but it deals 7 damage, and it has the knockback and head explode effect. Other than that, it's still just an average homage. <laughs> homage, wow, great work. <laughs> So the next one I'm going to present is called the Fire Hammer. Alright, this is the third hammer in my selection. And this hammer is called the Fire Hammer, to restate once again. It has the fire effect and still deals only 7 damage. Now that's also something else I noticed. See how it did the same effect as the Love Hammer? Well yeah, it's not exactly that. It actually does perform the fire. Yeah, you see? Fire status effect and it only does it at least about like 3 times. So that's at least about 10 damage right there. Alright, so the fourth hammer that I'm going to present is called the Poison Hammer. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> this is the fourth hammer called the Poison Hammer. Now I know according to the names a lot of these hammers are rather self-explanatory. But, there we are. This third account, the second account, now has the Poison effect. It is now speed has been hindered. This should allow you to easily gain a uh, catch up to your enemies once again. And basically just go ahead and wail on them. Now, the fifth hammer I am going to present is called the Gold Hammer. Alright, so, this is the, I believe, sixth hammer, which is called the Gold Hammer. Now, pretty much, this one is almost exactly identical to the Ice Hammer. It all does is just a shock effect and deals 7 damage. Yeah, 7 damage. There's literally nothing different in comparison, in terms of status effects, in comparison to the gold and ice hammer. I mean, there's basically just the same thing, 7 damage. <laughs> so now, the last, but most certainly not least, hammer available for VIP is called the black hammer. 
Alright everyone, and here we are, the last hammer for representation. Now, if you are already aware with the black candy cane that is available by the candy factory, you can probably already guess what the status effect is going to be for this. So this is the black hammer, and the status effect it has is the shadow effect. Where if you hit someone, you have a small chance of basically warping right to them and right behind them. Uh, fairly good if you want to rush through someone, but um, gets also kind of can possibly throw you or your enemy off. Vice versa, it's kind of a hit or miss kind of thing, but other than that, whichever one you want to go for, basically go for it. I mean, in terms of status effects and scale of damage, they all deal 7 damage. With exception to maybe fire, because fire has that chance of um, actually inflaming your enemy, and then probably getting off the extra 2 or 3 hit points. So all in all, uh, the only ones I would advise going for is if you don't have a shadow warp item like how I do, I don't really exactly have a one that has a shadow effect, so I might just stick with this one. Plus, all in all, the hammer really isn't that fast, regardless. I mean, this isn't really exactly something you would exactly take a, a base with. <laughs> uh, the shock is, which is the gold hammer, by the way, with, with the shock status effect, that's uh, that's almost pointless, too. <laughs> it's the same thing as the ice effect. No, the, uh, the, the, the ice hammer, there's no effect at all. Uh, the poison hammer is definitely something you would want to consider, because hindering your enemies is always something good. And... The love one, eh? No, don't, don't, don't get the love one. <laughs> it's too slow for its own knockback. <laughs> I mean, additionally, the knockback is only by chance if I, if I uh, do recall correctly. So the four I would end up recommending that you get and at least try out is the black one, which is the one I have right now with the shadow effect, the poison one, which is clearly poison. <laughs> Well, actually, let me change that uh, that four to three, <laughs> and the last one would be the fire for the fire effect. Now, although you know three damage isn't that much, but you add it on to the four, and it's actually quite formidable. <laughs> all in all, I would highly advise that you get the the poison hammer for best results. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.